Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Geek Studios Podcast. We are back for the I don't know how many time, but we've taken a small break and then we come back. Uh, that's why every I feel like every single time I say we're back, it's like again, right? It's, it's, <laughs> we, we, like, we, we, we like to go on hiatus from time to time. I was just going to say, you know, <laughs> hiatus on hiatus. <laughs> it's what we do. Everybody deserves a break. We be putting out good content, good work. And sometimes you need to take some time for yourself. Yeah, definitely. It, it, sometimes I mean, it's needed. It, it's been a while, but see, I even cut my hair since the last time. Oh, so. crap. Dopey Shit. did cut his hair. I just... Yeah, you know, I, I was throwing it out. I was laying wavelength, but now, you know, a nice little hiatus does the body good, as you could tell. Oh, yeah, sure. and I grew mine out. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got, I have to cut mine. So for us at work, like we got to go in three days a week to the office. Yeah, so we're in that hybrid model too. Yeah, so it, it's funny because I had to go buy a bunch of new clothes because let's just say during COVID and during all this stuff, the dryer really shrunk some of my clothes. <laughs> and it, felt, it felt a little too snug, and I just couldn't pull pull it off. So I was like, you know, uh, let me uh, go out and buy new clothes. So I had to do that. And as well as I got to start buying, like, all the new Was it really the stuff. dryer? Oh, it, really 100%. The yeah, yeah. oh, yes, the dryer. It, it, it was the dryer, yeah. Yep. I felt that. No, <laughs> it, it might have been something like we might have used the same wash and dryer, you know, laundry mat. Yeah. Because a lot yeah. of mine's got shrunk too. Yep. Yeah. See, and I'm telling I'm like, you. Come just, on, man. It, this, this, right. this, is, this is why I buy shirts in 2X, 2XLs, you know, just Bro. in case if they shrink. You, you know, it's the sad he part. right here, shrink. <laughs> the sad part is I, I, I'm up to a 2X where it's like if it shrinks, it's it's it might be a little bit of a problem now. <laughs> Where whereas to before it was like, oh yeah, like I, I could buy like XL, I could buy 2X, and it's like all right, but like I would get like XL fitted or you know 2XL fitted, and it was like all right, it fits fine, right? Like you know, like those tight slim fit, whatever they're called. I was like, okay, because I was like a large between a large and extra large. Now I can't do that no more, dude. I I, I don't think there's such a thing as a three XL fitted. I, so. You never know, man. You never know. <laughs> check it. You got to check it. You got to start checking out them uh, Instagram influencers, bro. You bro. know, some of them are big buddies. So, you know, uh, they'll dude. probably show you. And you know what's the worst part? Sometimes when you want to go to like uh, to Hot Topic or any any com- any uh, place that they have like anime shirts, they mm. only go up to extra large sometimes. And it's, it's like rarely will you see a 2X and it's like, damn. So like sometimes I'm like, all right, I have a few. I have a few extra large shirts that I'm like in my mind is like if I keep looking at them every day, I'm gonna be like, you know what, I need to slim down so I can fit into those. That's so I got a Dragon Ball right shirt. There, buddy. Yeah, so I got I got a Dragon Ball shirt and I'm I just can't wait to wear it. So hopefully <laughs> soon, soon. Uh, but yeah, so yes, we're back. Um and first off, let's start off uh with well, what is one thing you want to share? With our listeners, it could be something you're watching, something you're reading, something you're playing. Wait. It could be something that you just want to share. Like, hey, I found this out. You know, it could be I anything. You. So, uh, in my boredom of trying to find more games to play, I came across a game that I didn't know I've had, but um, I use my girlfriend to randomly pick a game and this game is called cold vein never heard of it before um cold vein, cold vein like c-o-c-o-d-e-v-e-i-n yeah you know sometimes i can't spell but yeah cold vein um okay it's actually shaping up to be very intriguing that um there's a lot to it it's for me it seems more like a Final Fantasy, online Final Fantasy style game. It's it like, like it's a role play because you have the fighter, you have the caster, you know, it has different styles that you can switch back and forth to. You're picking up all this different gear and, you know, you're equipped in all this, like you're looting, but it's really actually pretty intriguing. And it has this online mode where you can switch back and forth. I'm just getting started, but it actually, it seems pretty fun so far. So it's got a nine out of 10 rating on Steam. It okay. is still sixty dollars, even though it came out in like what 2020, 2019. And uh, never heard of it before. I don't know how I got it. 
but I guess it must have been like a free game. It must have been one of those free games, yeah. Like, but like it, it's it's surprising, and I'm not mad at this game at all. It's a Bandai game, so it's yes, and that's when I seen that I was like, oh, yeah, oh, this might be really good. Okay, yeah, I was like, oh, okay, I'm like it, <laughs> and it says violence really cool. and gore, so yes, oh, I, yes. I am, I am and definitely gonna be checking that bitch out. So the funniest thing, I think we've talked about this before, about how I personally, when I play role, um, role player games or whenever I have to build a character, um, more, nine out of uh, eight out of ten times I build a female character because I prefer hearing yeah, we, them. Yeah, you know, so, I prefer listening to a female character versus a man grunting and stuff in my ear all the time. But long story short, <clears throat> in creating this character, the first thing that was so in, that's most interesting was the fact that you can tell that the developers put in so much effort on you can customize the size of their chest okay. and this, is, it, this is literally one of the first options you get i'm like why is this the first option but you can tell but you cannot custom you cannot customize the size of their butt though, which hurt my feelings <laughs> like why i like i don't even care like, it, yeah, just a little tip. Yeah, well, well, what you chose, medium is premium? Yeah. <laughs> Good match. You know, because <laughs> I'm a butt guy anyway. And I, it's like, eh, I don't need them extra large. The small is too small. So, honestly, I just modeled her after the most beautiful person I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Good try, good try. No. I, I'm, I'm always trying, but he always yeah. keeps telling me no. It's all right. One day, one day. No, but yeah. So it does look. No, like, it does look like okay. I'm, I'm just, you know, no comment on that one. I mean, hey, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, so it does look interesting. No uh, judgment from the from from my end of the computer, guys. So it's it's okay. So I see it is a it's a single player and a multiplayer game. Um, it, it they come out 2019. Uh, it is it is out for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Windows. So it's like a PC game as well. So pretty cool. Um, maybe like I'll I'll look into it. Um, just because I, it, you know, it's something different than just playing yeah. uh Rocket League or that's, Overwatch. And that's, what, that's the mood that I was in, and I literally was like, look. I opened my game library. I did one of the random sorts, and then I was like, "Hey, pick a game between one and I think it was 200, 268 at the time." I'm like, mm -hmm. "Just pick a number," and of course, this is what she landed on. I'm like, "Okay." It, it I've never heard of that. One hundred six. Actually, it was number ten. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you went so low, but it was ten. It, it'd be fun. It'd be funny if she picked something like Goat Simulator or something. Right, yeah, like, bro. What? So, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. You, whoa, whoa, you've whoa, never whoa, played whoa, Gold that. Simulator? Gold it's so stupid. stupid. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's a dumb game. <laughs> it is, but so it is stupid. entertaining. I, I, my mind, my mind was going somewhere else. My bad. No, my no, no. It's a, <laughs> you're literally a goat running around, hitting people, and, and doing jumping random and, stuff. Yeah. And it's like you oh, can man. literally get achievements and all of this yeah. random stuff. Oh, that sounds fun. Like, it's so it's mindless. It's one of those games that you can, <laughs> if you're bored, it'll it'll keep you entertained for a good two hours for sure. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. And then it's like, what the like? This is how <laughs> I get found it. Like, you realize I, what I, you're I'm doing, already, right? I'm like, what the fuck am I doing right now? And you had to start contemplating facts of life, like how what am I doing that I am? Um, I think I was what 27 when I first started playing. I'm like. <laughs> I'm a 27 year old sitting over here, and I was sitting. I, I wasn't sitting on the couch, but I was sitting on the floor in front of the couch playing a game. You know, needed a little bit more back support, and I'm just. It, it was like, what am I doing with my life right now? Why <laughs> am I sitting here <laughs> on a Tuesday afternoon playing Gold Simulator? Hey, that's, hey. Like play, that, that's like playing GTA and just actually just driving around and following the what's it called, the laws of the road, just Dude, stopping there, at there's, like, there, there's people that do that, especially with the wheel and the pedals, like they. Oh, yeah, customized to do that, like and like it's like the semi. They, they have a they have every kind of simulator. They have a semi truck simulator. The tank loves playing fishing simulator games. I actually, like, so my dad, well, my biological father, 
um, when I was growing up, he was the same way. He liked fishing for real. So he would buy fishing games too. And he would like, if he couldn't go out there on, on the rivers and lakes and fish, he would just fish on the game. On the game. And be like, yeah, he'd be like, okay, like this is the type of bait and stuff we should be using. Like he was taking real world <laughs> advice. <laughs> <laughs> from game. Hey, he wa- hey, he wanted hey, to make sure it, he, it he worked didn't lack on his phone for like <laughs> Imagine if it was like a Wii or something. To like, um, my, my thing is I've never seen him catch a fish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some sometimes catching fish is hard. Like uh, I, I, I've gone fishing a few times, and I think I've, I've only caught one fish, and it, and I've gone like two, three times. It's but more it was about fun. the peaceful it's time fun. that you have within yourself. That's yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. It's about them being out there, and you got to bring peace with you and, and people beer. at you. Yes, liquor. And beer. Not just yeah. beer, liquor, period. <laughs> Any, well, that, to, the to, whole to, to each its Some own. sandwiches, maybe. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so, so I had a so, challenge. So there was a challenge one time when I went fishing, and I actually brought a grill, and we was like, look, we grilling up, and we going to cook whatever we catch. We ended up going Everybody was hungry. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> Everybody I was going to say, uh, I was gonna say I'm like, I, I don't know if I would do that. Sometimes you catch we, some questionable we, Nobody fish. caught anything on that particular <laughs> one. Everybody was hungry by the end of the day. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I, we literally just so much, sent somebody to store grass some chicken. <laughs> All right. And uh, just threw that on the grill. So, Dopey, what is, what, what is one item that you have to share oh, with man. the listeners? Uh, uh, recently, I just started picking up on Yu-Gi-Oh again. Uh, I'm, really, I'm trying to read the manga as well. Cause there's some dark shit in there, like they don't, you know. Mm-hmm. One thing that I do have so anime. far, yeah. Because thank, thank you for fucking kids. You know, four kids, they, they <laughs> fucking <laughs> basically abolish that shit. I don't, I don't so, know. I kind, I kind of want to make it. I, I kind of want to do a petition or something that hopefully, you know, Funimation or Crunchyroll, some somebody with, or you know, a good studio that ain't fucking four kids to actually just redo the whole Yu Gi Oh series but with actual like how it's supposed to be you know not that whole i mean finger finger pistol guns for fuck's sakes i mean come on that's not intimidating you know hey uh, it worked for you 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 yaka show yeah but he, 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 there's a difference he, he was you know he was in the soul realm yeah yeah these guys, no, are, I get you, no, I get these guys are dueling with cards bro you know but yeah See, no, but- and i started and i started watching that uh yugioh bridge series that's mm-hmm. on youtube that shit will have you fucking rolling all fucking day, bro. I mean, all fucking day. I can't stop watching it. It is fucking hilarious. Those 10 minutes or 15 minutes are just blissful because they say some of the stupidest shit ever. You're just like, only if this was the real dub. <laughs> it will be like that much more appreciated. So it's kind of like, uh, what is it? Uh, is it Ghost Stories? It's a... Uh... It's an anime. Yeah, it's, just, it's, yeah, it's, it's like a, it, yeah, it's like a parody. It's just ridiculous. It's oh yeah, ghost stories. I've heard yeah, about that one. It's ridiculous. So I'm, I'm assuming they got, it, they like got that, it on but... Amazon Prime. They got it on Amazon Prime. I was watching an episode or two, and I'm like, how the fuck did they get away with all this shit? But I'm <laughs> like, hey, they gave them the rights. They just hey, gave them they the stayed, right. dude. So here's the thing, though. With so the U.S. has this censorship that is really shit. Because the and like when you were talking about. The actual manga and the like, what's really written, it, it it's completely different well, from the versions that we actually get, like the Viz version and the, uh, the anime. Like they take out so much and they <laughs> nah, censor so much. Nah, but the four the four kids the, the four kids they abolished everything. I mean, if you really I mean, want to talk about censorship, it was you really want to talk about censorship. We got anime like that had the, what it was F, FCC or something like that. Like yes. Yeah. Like hey, how it, they it, censored the fuck out of Dragon Ball Z Kai. Yeah, I mean, it, all of a sudden there's some more blood there. It's just like white liquid, which it looks bro, even more that, that, fucking I, weird. I, I have an issue with the white liquid <laughs> instead of blood. It's like at this point, make it green, make it black, purple, make it any purple. other color. <laughs> But why white? Like you see the scene white where somebody's exactly. laying down and it's like it white looks even more them, sauce, and it's bro. like Bro, all you need is just the Pornhub logo on the bottom corner. Hey, they like, actually made a meme off that. They made a yes, meme off did. Android 18, bro, when yeah. Cell spit her out. It's just white yeah. liquid all over her. It'd be like, Pornhub. Do, 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 do. Bro, it's just... <laughs> it's fucked up, right? It's like... I want to know who thought that was a good idea. 
hey, fucking perverts. That's who. Let's make it white. Like nobody <laughs> was there to be perverts. like, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> we might have Blood. to revisit this again in the like, future. Right? You Blood is too harmful to the kids, but let's just let's just put white white <laughs> liquid. Right, you know, come is okay. Come, come yeah, is fine. like yeah, semen fine. Blood. Oh no, 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 no blood though. That's just oh. how. To, it is weird, but man, the, uh, the, so, the Yu Gi Oh! Bridge series, man, it's hilarious. I'm also playing a game for the PS5 that I it's for free right now. Which one, you know, just picking it up. I'm trying to find my old Yu Gi Oh! cards too. I'm gonna see if there's any tournaments around. Oh, like, who, like, who, like, who's ah, uh, it's not Duel Links, I think. I don't know. I know it ain't Duel Links. I'll let you know in a bit. <laughs> oh, so, okay. oh, so you're, you're playing an actual dueling game. Yeah, no, but I mean, if I could find my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, psh, best mm-hmm. believe it, I'm gonna find a fucking tournament. Oh, there's who I'm gonna send to the Shadow well, Realm. There is some tournaments still. There is also conventions that are happening around Chicago that they still do. Uh, what's it called? Pokemon uh, cards battles and Yu-Gi-Oh uh, battles, which is funny, right? Because, um, like I remember back in the day, Toys R Us used to have battle days where it's like, yeah. hey, you could go and you could battle with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, I'm not going to lie. I never understood 100% how to use those cards. I never understood <laughs> the actual so, rules of the Like game. the mechanics and the rules. So it was like it was always like, oh, I put one card down facing this way. I put this card. And, and people were like, no, no, you can't do that. I'm like, well, I just did. I'm like, well, right? No, you can't do that. No, I mean... <laughs> It, it, the the basics of it, the mechanics of it, is really simple. But how they portray it in the show, it just completely mind fucks you. Like you know literally what? mind fucks you because Th- this they're doing some idea. weird shit here. Then they do some other shit that it's not supposed to be legal in <laughs> our world. Right? But somehow you know it's anime. <laughs> fuck the rules. And they, they make fun of yeah, that like shit. Yeah, like there's some version. things and sacrifices and shit. <laughs> yeah, and they, they make fun of that shit in the abridged version. It's like, nah, fuck the rules. We do whatever the fuck we want here. I mean, they make a whole thing about it. That's why I fucking love that abridged series. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's not hard to get into. It's really easy. I You know. Right, so I got an idea, just... Dopey. So I'm going to look for places that have Yu-Gi-Oh, ba- uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card battles, right? And we're going to we're gonna do a... Dopey goes and let's see how let's see how let's see how like how long it'll take for you to become the champion of that place, kind of like the Ash tournament. How long yeah. did it take Ash? Like 20 take... something years? Yeah, it took him a while, dude. <laughs> I, I probably won't win a fucking duel match till like I'm hey, 75. Hey, 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 hey. Well, we gotta record it every we, we'll, every we'll, we'll record day. one. Uh and we'll post it up on YouTube. That we'll post up uh do, dopey uh but and you we'll don't worry, dude. We'll figure a way. To make it look like you won, even if you didn't, dude. Well, we'll, we'll give you, we'll buy you a championship and everything, like a, a trophy. Fake it till you make it, baby. There you go, dude. We're gonna go in like, hey, this is our 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 boy Dopey wants to join. He is the regional champion of Yu Gi Oh of uh, no, what's of the, the town? The... What 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 is the starting town from Pokemon? Or no, not the, the, the region. Kanto. Kanto. Kanto he yeah. is the regional. <laughs> Kanto champion. <laughs> nah, bro, you you know those people know everything. They're like, that bro, you're, you're talking to <laughs> you're, you're talking to <laughs> anime fans. There. Like, you, they're gonna be like, no, I, that's Pokemon. Like, bro, bro, okay, it was Yu Gi Oh then Pokemon or Pokemon then Yu Gi Oh in Saturday night. What's it called? Saturday er, early morning Pokemon Saturday. Then Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. Then Batman, the Batman, and shit like that. So yeah, these motherfuckers knew everything about that. Yeah. All right, what All right. about you, Miguel? What's something that you would want to share with the community? Right. So I did see this first on TikTok. Um, and I it, it is out as of now, as of 420, uh, 2023. So Crunchyroll has two movies now. Oh, yo, right? you said you would, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's two movies. Uh, the, the movies are To Every You I've Loved Before You and To Me, The One Who Loved You. Now... The cool part about these is it depends in which way you watch the movies and you'll get a different story, right? And that's the whole that's the whole thing. And it's like, it's like, oh, if you watch one, then you watch the second one, you're like, damn, that this movie was about this. But if you watch it in reverse, you know, where it's like the second one and then the first, you're gonna be like, oh shit. And the, the thing is, 
in Japan they released in 2022 simultaneously. So it, it was like it you, was like, pick your poison first. Yeah, it was like it was like pick whichever one you want, then you watch the next one. So that's why everybody's like, oh shit, like it's two different stories. So it it looks super interesting. It is as like I said, it is out now on Crunchyroll. It's uh now on 420. So it the, once again, those two movies are to every you I love before you, and to me, the one who loved you. Now it is more of a uh, romance, romance kind of piece of life kind slice of slice of life, slice yeah. of life. Uh, so it, I'm not gonna lie, like that's definitely what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do after this. I'm gonna watch one of them. For me, I'll, I'll... I'm going for the Power Rangers movie, Power Rangers Forever. It is out on Netflix. It just oh, came out. It came out yesterday, it I believe. Nice right. Place. It is, it did, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I gotta watch that too now. <laughs> so, so, so I gotta watch that. I still have I still have not seen the Mario the Mario movie. I've only seen either. it in cuts. Yeah. Because I'm, all, I, I'm only I'm waiting for my local for my local cinema to yeah, release local it. Cinema, right. <laughs> and once you once you get it, you, you, wait, you, you can send wait. over the link. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. I, 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 <laughs> so that we can mm-hmm. we can support I, I, I local businesses. Either. That's that's what it's all about, supporting local businesses. But yeah, and so it's like, funny because I'm wearing a what's it called? I'm wearing a one piece. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, hat. <laughs> Jolly Roger. Jolly Roger hat. Um, and that yeah. should tell you everything about me right now. Um, <laughs> also, I, I do want to remind everybody. On May 6th, now I wrote this down on my notebook. On May 6th, it is free comic book day. Oh, right. Free comic book day, May 6th. Is that everywhere or is that just Illinois? Everywhere. Everywhere. In the U.S.? Everywhere in the U.S. Free comic book day, May 6th. Matter of fact, if you're in the Chicagoland or near Chicagoland, near Indiana area, uh, you could always follow... uh, G- Gorilla Publishing, Gorilla. yeah, Gorilla Publishing. They're they're gonna be on different um Gorilla. in different con- con- uh, comic book shops. So they're gonna be you know obviously giving out some of their books. They'll be there to you know meet and greet. They'll be able to sign stuff. So they do have almost the whole gang perform like the whole gang is in on it. So it's a you know like it's it's kind of cool because they're always like hey you go to this place you go to this place I'm going here you go here. So they're everywhere right and it's cool like uh. I'm like, gonna be looking for that Uncle Raffy comic book Uncle that I never received. <laughs> I, right? I, 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 I need to hit him up. I, I never got the book or the shirt. Nothing. I, I, I yeah, me neither. So you know, I, I, mean, I, already, I, I, I got already paid VIP, for it. Might I got well. the VIP uh, exclusive. That's why. I, I mean, so I already paid for it. Might as well. Yeah. Might as well get it on free comic book day. Like That's he 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 came my... personally, gave it to me. He's like, here you go, man. You know, thank you so much. I don't I live like, that far oh, from you. I was like, oh, so are you going to go give uh, Ernest his? He's like, nah, man, fuck that. He called me Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, nah, but like, oh, that was that was a good... That's, that's a man who cosplays Tony Stark 24-7, bro. He's never <laughs> that that, that, that's what he is. <laughs> Even personality. That's crazy, he, right? He, especially his personality, man, oh, you know? Oh, oh, it's... Man. it's after after Iron Man, he put on a couple of pounds, you know. Now he's a stay at home dad, shit like that. Hey man, you know. But before and after, the, the life of Tony after. Stark. There you go. The that's, Uncle Raffy story. That's a perfect way to. Dude, I I still gotta fi- like I'm gonna get that clip because oh my god, there's so many clips from that that episode. That, yeah, that was which a great are episode. just amazing and. I gotta get. I gotta say this, man. Shout out to Dopey, because man, you you not only did you handle it, but you like you took he took his stick and you know like that's how fucked up. You took his jokes and you know like okay, you were, okay. I'm, yeah I'm yeah. Glad you rephrased it well. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it, it was st- it was stick. You know with wait, the H. Wait, wait, well, we all know. You know what is the group chat name for Dopey? And he oh. just said Tony Stark is a billionaire. <laughs> <laughs> Dopey's like, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm gonna leave some mystery for the viewers <laughs> and the listeners. Uh, oh, if you want to know, this, just comment it under the podcast. I'll let you know. Yeah, but like once again, like I, do that. I, that's that's an episode <laughs> I highly recommend for people to go listen to. Now it is a little long; it's about two hours long, but it is actually 
really but funny. The, but the man's could talk. Oh, he could oh, talk. He could talk. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's like me and Ernest were not even there. It was it was the it was the Uncle Raffy and Dopey show. That's all it was. Which I'm not gonna lie. I would it was nice. I, I would pay <laughs> to see that. Like if it was like, hey, we're gonna perform a interview between Dopey and Uncle Raffy, I would be like, all right, dude, I'm paying I, I wanna pay to see that. You see this? I'm against Tony Stark, Bruce Wayne all the way, baby. <laughs> Oh man, um, what's it called? Also, w- one thing we're gonna start doing, uh, we're gonna start a new segment, which is the indie comic book of the week. We are trying to partner with more indie indie uh, publishers and indie uh, comic book people. Um, that way we could kind of bring awareness of their comic. Now, what what we're gonna do? Full disclosure: it's a new comic every week. Now, and we'll rate it. We'll talk a little bit about it. It could be good. It could be bad. We're we're gonna be honest because we don't want to say like, "Hey, this is good," and then all of a sudden it's like, "Bro, this is trash." Right? <laughs> like, let's be honest, right? Let's be honest. No, I mean, not not every comic is a hidden right. gem, you know, or it just happens to be a lump of coal right there. Be like, yeah, what the fuck did I pick up, it, <laughs> bro? You're telling me, dude, I picked up some books and I'm like, fuck, and I, I, I will not say which. Which the name of the book, and I will not say the artist, right? When I, I did go to a convention and I picked up a book, it was about uh, the uh, founders of America, and I didn't know what it was because he was like, "Oh, this is a book about, you know, like, do you like uh, history?" I was like, "Yeah, I kind of like history." So he was p- <laughs> pitching the book. I was like, "Okay, you know, like, can you sign it?" You know, like I talked to him for a little bit. This was a couple of years ago. It was a, it was a uh, a con that happened here in Chicago. So I I got it, and once I read, it, I was like, I should have not gotten this book, right? Like, like again, it's the illustrations no, it, are nice, but you know what people should do, especially if they're selling their comics in a convention. Convention, at least be like the supermarket, bro. It's like, would you like to read a few pages, you know, as a sample? <laughs> See if this right. is your that, cup that of tea? is that is a good thing, and you know, yeah. so like that way, you know, if they if they kind of like digging it or not, if they're digging it, fuck it, they'll buy it, then they could actually really judge it. But if they're not feeling it right there, instead of having that whole now I'm gonna talk shit about this Arthur behind my computer screen and give him so many <laughs> bad reviews. Be like, you save yourself so much humiliation like that, and you'd be like, That's true. You, know what? you know, it's just a little heads up for any future comic book writers out there. You know, I'll, don't be I'll, afraid to. I mean, sell yourself, but also you know, make sure you attract your kind of readers that you want to attract. Well, I mean, I think that that comes with your confidence in your work too, right? Like, if you're confident, you're gonna be like, "Hey, yeah. here's some of my stuff. Like, oh. you could read this." And yeah, yeah, by like, by all means. But I'm saying, you know, there you're always gonna have assholes behind, you know, just yeah, they just want to hate to hate and shit like that. You know, yeah. so that's why if you give them a little taste, be like, "Here, here's a read. You could read up to five pages. We had a- depending on how depending on how thick the comic is. Then after that, they could be like, hey, you know what, yeah. this is not for me. Boom." Don't forget about it. Instead of taking it home, read it and be like, "You haven't made <laughs> okay, this." It's one of those you haven't made it till you got it till you had at least a, a one hater, right? Yeah, but you don't want the hater now, right away. Now, <laughs> funny enough, we've had a few haters over our, over our time, and um, we've had a few people we had to kind of deal with. So it, it comes with it, right? You know, it's like, but hey, we do this content, we do it for free for you guys, that so we guys could listen to. And listen to us and try as we try to entertain you. Now you could be on your drive to work, you could be on your way to school. You know, we just want to inform you of some things that are happening, as well as let you know, like, hey, some of our personal opinions. Um what now movies that, suck and what movies don't exactly you know, what so, you should read. So what you should play. Once we see Mario, <laughs> we will let <laughs> you know our thoughts. Because so yeah. this is the thing, like, right. Is Ernest uh, ever gonna build a complete waifu of Miguel in his own game? You never know. I, 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 I keep sending him like I, I cut my hair a piece of my hair and I send it to him. I'm like, hey, whoa, whoa, here's another whoa, piece of whoa. hair. He, Hold on he, now. And it it, <laughs> it just aggressive. keeps saying it keeps saying return to sender. My boy, that sounds like some voodoo shit. Oh no, that no, no, like no, some no. voodoo shit. He better not be doing voodoo shit, dude. You, you're, you're already giving you're giving him free material as it is. 
that's true, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're putting oh, yourself off for that baby. <laughs> Damn. See, this is why I need to consult with Dobby before I do any of these. Ernest, <laughs> Ernest, uh, Mr. E, I got a couple brujas on the block. Oh, you know. I got you. <laughs> oh, trust. I, it's like one of those, like every Mexican knows somebody that does something. So. Hey, well, I got a fa- uh, I got a family friend cousin. Yeah, she's into that shit. Yeah, I, I got an aunt that does that. And bro, I'll, I'm not going to lie. I That is the aunt I always talk with the utmost respect. Every time, I, every time I go to Mexico, I give her a hug. I was like, "How are you doing? Oh my God, do you like? Have you eaten? No, like, or right, let's go get something to eat, you know? Because this you mother, never this know, bro. You the never opposite know. of keep the bad vibes away. So, like, no, nah, give me all your bad vibes. I'll heal no, you. No, no, no. I'll like, heal you. I, it's one of those like, don't give me the bad vibes. You know, like you're please. hugging the bad vibes, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you're hugging the bad vibes instead of I want nothing but good vibes. No, nah, give me the bad vibes. Come here, come here. I love you. Um, and over here, she's chanting something in your ears. Like, yeah, yeah oh, you're, gonna go, you're gonna go bald by the age of this. Oh, you don't man. even know it. I'm, I'm not gonna Picking lie I'm, backwards. I'm not gonna lie. That is one thing I'm not looking forward to is if I go bald. Because, dude, because I, I feel like I can't pull it off, right? I cannot pull out being bald. Like, I can't be like Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor could pull out being bald, right? There, uh, yeah, one punch man could like you know, Saitama could pull off being bald. He didn't have a choice. I mean, he that's true, he didn't have a choice. <laughs> he didn't have a choice. He, had, he did he even have eyebrows? No, right? He lost his eyebrows too. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he lost, he lost every all, particle yeah. of hair. God damn, he, bro, he like, became a what's that one term? Uh, uh, uh alopecia. alopecia, yeah, alopecia. alopecia. Yeah, he became an alopecia patient without him even bro. fucking noticing just because he wanted to be strong. And shout out to my boy Hat because. He has alopecia and he's actually built like one punch, man. Well, you know, he's swole, be like, ah. I'm like, yeah, oh. good for you. Um, yeah, dude, because that, that is uh, something hard, right? But yeah, like I'm saying, like, I, I can't pull it out. I'm, lo- I'm looking around. Oh, I thought you were looking for evil spirits right now. Oh, no, 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 and no, no. And shit. No, because no, I feel like I'm going to look more like Jet from, um, what's it called? From Cowboy Bebop. Where it's like he's just bald <laughs> on the top, but has all the back hair. I feel like that's what I'm end up looking like, and I'm just not ready for that. So I was like, "Fuck, you know." I'm it's one of those. Like, I've started getting a lot of gray hairs. Oh, bro! Nah, like awesome. they're starting to pop up. Like I'm like I hit a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, haven't you seen white hair is in, bro? Like look, look at Kakashi. Look at uh. Uh, Go- Gojo, yeah, like white hair is in. Yeah, yeah. it went through, a lot, <laughs> it went through a, lot <laughs> a lot of stress in life. A lot of stress in life. A lot of stress. A lot. Well, the fuckers were fighting demons when they were fucking <laughs> burning out the womb. <laughs> <laughs> they had like, no choice. They're, they're another reason of they had no choice but to rock the white hair. Be like, oh, oh. like kill him for fuck's sake. He, he was born. Oh, that's it. Yeah. The bro, fucker which... went through stress, bro. All right, so all right. Quick questions. So I, I know we did have a topic, but screw that topic. We're gonna keep rolling with what we're doing right now. Um, if it, so, if you were in a, in an anime, right? If you're an anime character, what color hair would you want? You cannot pick black because I think we all have black hair. So you can't yeah, have black have hair. Black. You can't have you can't have black hair. You can't have brown hair because those are common. But what color hair would you want to have? God, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna jump on this first, and I'm gonna say white because um, as, <laughs> <laughs> and like jumping on that white hair trend, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I might too, dude. I might. <laughs> that was my answer too. <laughs> and this one, I'm like, let me pick this first, because <laughs> here's why, though. Like when you really think about it, some of the most powerful characters in their respective animes all have white hair. Yeah. Um, Kiloa, for example, Hunter X on Kiloa had white hair. Um, if we don't know, I can't remember his name, but the main character for um is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, quite a few bleach cap, not a few, uh the bleach captain that with the ice dragon, white Mm -hmm. hair. Um a lot there is a lot of notable people. We've already talked about Gojo, we already talked about Kakashi. We are. Let's talk about Goku and his incomplete. Um, he he completed it now. He completed it. Now. He, yeah, he's completed it now. But and his hair doesn't go white now. It, it's it, like grayish metallic. It's like grayish metallic, silver. It, it still counts. It still counts. 
<laughs> he's like yeah, white yeah, yeah. silver it's, hair. It's, it's, it's under that's that fair. shade. It's, that's yeah. fair. Okay, if we if we go with that's fair. Uh, but then it's like um, Norman from Promised Neverland. Like th- there are so many characters. Sinbad from Magi and Sinbad. He already has his own. Like there's so many characters. Uncle Iro from uh, Avatar. Yeah, white hair didn't he? Or was grayish? Well, yeah, gray. he was an old yeah, man. Yeah, gray hair for sure. <laughs> I'm just looking around at the Funkos, like looking at who's got white hair. That's fine. But yeah, but long story short, there are so many. Pe- Luffy gets white hair in um, it's fucking Gear five. Luffy gets white hair Gear five. in Gear Five. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to see if it's like gonna be spoiler territory, but fuck it. Yeah, that, 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 that chapter's been out in so many fucking you know shorts on YouTube the and Instagram. Out, it's it's not like animated yet. We do there. there actually, when you watch, wait, have you seen the movie Red? No, I haven't seen the. Oh, ho, 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 buddy. Ho, 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 buddy. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, uh, for me, I don't know. I think I'll go with, like, some dark blue hair. Dark blue hair? Or, yeah, dark blue with a faint of reddish at the end. Wait, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> so, dark blue like and blue, red tips? Blue. Yeah, yeah, like, like, you know, just, yeah, like something like that. I don't know, because uh, I've noticed that, you know, my beard... I got a couple of hairs that are going brown and they look kind of reddish. So eventually I know they're going to go gray, but yeah, they first start off red. So I mean, in the anime world, you know, fucking blue hair, if that's my choice, then the red tips is just basically me getting older by age. I, I wasn't sure if you're going to pull like a, from my hero academia, like to the rocky where it's like half. Well, I know his is half white, half red, but it was going to be. I'm, I'm, half not, blue, I'm, half not, red. I, I'm not that woke yet, man. I'm so sleepy. I'm not that woke yet. I'm still dreaming here, okay? <laughs> oh man. No, but yeah, like I think I think that would be kind of cool. I, like I again I want to go with so when I was younger, I was always like a big fan of red hair, right? I was like, yeah, red hair looks cool, right? But when once you start watching anime and everything, it's like, yo, white hair is where it's at, right? Like <laughs> it's like you want like you, you wanna stand out you want to be strong you know usually it's white hair so i was like yeah, i might have to go with white hair as well um you know what yeah i'm, I'm gonna roll with white hair 100 percent roll with white hair i'm sorry to be taking pick another one oh, man. <laughs> so right. let me, but let's talk about this when we say white hair is blonde included in that no well, we can white but well, we uh, that's what that's fair so i'm just saying White and silver are similar, uh, and we're putting silver in with white because Kakashi's which hair is gold, gold, gold could go with with yellow or with blonde. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I, we're mean, I, 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 I know my mom when I was a when same. I was a child at elementary school. My mom dyed my tips. Fucking what's it called? Blonde because you know. I was a young Mexican in school, and you know everybody oh, was doing you, it. You, you frosted the tips, I, bro? Yeah, yeah. I had that, I, it was against my it was against my will. What was it? Like was it was it because of Ronaldo or was it like? Because I was like all the soccer I, I, players used to frost their tips. Honestly, I, I I don't even know. I think my mom was watching too much Enrique Iglesias. Ah, okay. <laughs> he was in love with him, so you know, I me and my brother we fell victims to that trend, and then yeah. But if I have another choice, I'd rather be bald. I, oh, I'm complete, I'm 100 comfortable with being bald. I remember one time my brother was, was trying to cut my hair, and he fucked up. I'm like, eh, zero, mm. and that was it. So I, I'm comfortable with that. Now, bro, I, I, like I, I know this is kind of off topic, but one of the weirdest, strangest, craziest haircuts I have ever gotten was Caesar, who. Uh, he was uh, he he was in the he was in this pod like a few years back, right? Um, yeah. What's it called? He well, like I was into this. I was I was really into dragons. And he's like, dude, you know what? I I bet you I could uh, kind of like shave a dragon in the back of your head. I was like, what? So we we looked at like you know. You let him do it. Come on, bro. Now. Bro, I that did is- like. Like we, we looked up uh like tribal dragon tattoos, right? Because it was like, all right, you're not gonna be able to do a detailed one, so let's do this, bro. I swear to god, I was walking around with a fucking iguana on the back of my head. <laughs> I was like, god. I mean, technically it's a lizard. I was technically like, it's a lizard. <laughs> bro, it was just 
You just haven't grown into your full form yet, brother. That's it. <laughs> it's a baby dragon. <laughs> Super baby dragon. <laughs> oh, Especially since you're an anime fan, you could have just said, this isn't even my final form yet. This you isn't know? my Some final shit, form. This, this is just the, the starting off stage, you know? This is, uh, what, what was, uh, uh, what's it called? Agumon? This, this is oh, Agumon. Yeah. Agumon. <laughs> <laughs> Like, see, I, I could have just said that, but I didn't think about it. I was just like, fuck. Oh, it only lasted about two days, and after that, I had to cut off, bro. Because, bro, that yeah, bullying, you went bald, man. <laughs> I did, bro. I had to go bald. That's why I'm like, I don't want to go bald because I feel like my head is sh- shaped diff- weirdly. So I'm gonna look like one punch man with the weird looking head. <laughs> I mean, I already know I got a big forehead. So I mean, what what's the oh red? Well, I mean, what, oh. I mean, what's oh. left, bro? What's left? Literally, well, it's a forehead. Brush back. I'm like, Yo, just wait till I comb it, man. You, but yeah, just remember when your head gets larger than four fingers, it's no longer a forehead. It's a forehead because <laughs> you got four you fingers, gotta... motherfucker. <laughs> If if, 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 if if I could fit three fingers here and, you know, my hair was down here, then, yeah, it would be considered a three head. Listen to me. What I'm telling you is if you start at your eyebrow and you go up and, you, look, you see how four fingers fit here? How many fingers fit there for you? Because <laughs> uh, you can four. add a couple more. No, no. I heard it say you can add a couple more. <laughs> more. You you I can't grow fingers. <laughs> I can't grow fingers, okay? <laughs> This is a thumb, not look, a finger. Look how tight, look how tightly my fingers are fitting together. You was like this. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm just all short. You just you you have a very big forehead, and it's okay. I, no, I, I'm, okay. I'm perfectly comfortable with it. I mean, gonna, I go out in public. I go I, with the comb over. I believe that I, I, I go out in public you. with this every day. So believe me, I'm comfortable. I have it. Hey. So I mean, what's going bald? I mean. It's nothing. That's true. Like I, I've I've shaved my head before for uh like what's it called? I think I did it once for uh people were doing a whole can- cancer awareness and stuff. So yeah. I was like, cool, like I, I did it once and then but another so, time because I lost a bet. Did you shave it? Like did you cut your hair or did you shave? Your no, hair? no, okay. I, I take that back. I I cut it with the machine at zero, so there was yeah. still some dots on there. <laughs> so it, it's not like completely shaved off, but it was like dots, you know, like yeah, you, it can was, scratch it was hand. you can scratch your hand. You could scratch your hand while it was close. Yeah, it was the close. close cut, but it wasn't shaved bald. Right now, to shave my head. So sorry. So you w- one thing you could do is you could join us as we stream on Twitch to try and raise money for Lori Children's Hospital of Chicago. <laughs> All links could be on the website. Now, <laughs> if we make it to, I don't know, I'm going to put a crazy amount because I really don't want to do it. Uh, but if <laughs> we gotta, get to like... Put a reachable amount, though. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to go like, oh, yeah, 10,000, 10, a million, right? But uh, hey, let's say... You'd be surprised, man. So many people out there trying to save people's lives. Hey. No, that's true. That's true. All right. So, let, let's go with... Let's go with 20 people. No, we've gone to a hundred dollars. <laughs> we've passed a hundred dollars. Uh, all right, I, I will think about shaving my head if we get to two thousand. <laughs> no, no, no. We need guarantees. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta guarantee us that you think about Write it, it no. on paper. Right. No, I, I want to see I, that shit in black I, and white. I, I, I'm scared because. I'm scared that Ernest will do his best to try and get to t- that two thousand. He might even put some. He might even put a lot of his money. Just to just him. to see me going bald, and I really don't want to go bald, dude. I'm just like, <laughs> now, and Ernest, I gotta start going to the office now. Is, Ernest, when, oh. when we say go bald, we just mean his head, or we're going full. No, 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 just the hair. No, 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 just the hair. No, 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 just the hair. Like, you cannot take away my facial hair and my my hair, bro. Like that, I will definitely look really. Yes, I mean, I'm gonna look like an egg. Okay, alternative. <laughs> I'm gonna not, if like... not, if, okay, alternative. If not your beard, how about your eyebrows? No, absolutely not, bro. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> just my hair, just my hair. Um, but what, like, so I think of a number of and of for sure number. Uh, and if if we get to there, I'll shave my head. And now hey, the reason the reason why I, I gotta think a little bit higher is because I got obviously I gotta tell my team at work, hey, 
if if one day you see me with a bald head, I don't gotta tell him. For, this for is all why. we know, you for all we know, you told them already. No, I haven't told them now, but I'm but now, I have a feeling if, if I the tell word, them, <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna be like, oh, I want to see this, and, and let me donate. Yeah, bro, like I, I I know it, dude. So, but it's all for a good cause. It's a, it's remember. for a good cause. All, for good cause. all right, let's, for the good oh, cause of us making the fun fun of you. That's that's the best cause ever, bro. And you know it's the crazy part. I love my hair, dude. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like I love my hair, but but all right, two thousand five hundred for sure. I knew you were gonna say that number. Yeah, I knew you were gonna say that number. For sure. You didn't want it to go as high as five thousand, but you saw you had to cut it in half. Right. (laughs) Originally, I I wanted to go five, but I was like, "Damn, that's kind of bogus, right?" I'm like, "I, I I felt it. I felt the tension." All right. So, all right, two thousand five hundred, and and if we if we get to five, uh, Ernest will join me. For sure. Oh shit! Damn. I I guarantee. <laughs> All right, don't be. I'll, what's I'll your price say. at this point? <laughs> yeah. Shit, I'll, I mean, man, I'll so just, I I'll, 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 I'll do it if, if I'll two, both of you do it. I'll do All it. Right. Get if we get to five, all three of us will shave our head. Yes. There you go. It's done. Set. Established. Um, Established. A verbal contract. A... <laughs> oh, God damn, bro. We all oh, to I'm not gonna sleep tonight. I'm not. Gonna lie. <laughs> I'm glad I have a personal barber just in case. <laughs> He's gonna hook me up. Wow. He's gonna, How do you spray... hook up <laughs> he could he he could spray paint something in here, you know. I don't know, man. I, I, that's why you it's have a personal a barber. <laughs> exactly. There you go. More for him to sp- to like paint on there, you know. Like um, so you're just gonna be walking around with a handful of paint. Shit, if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> you see what these kids? You see what these kids are doing now? They're spray painting their beard. Their beard, why bro. Can't yeah, I, why, they do the beard. Well, why? Why can't I do that with my hair? That they I, there's some people that do that. They they see uh, now. That's what you call true wokeism, right there. <laughs> that's not being woke. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up to that idea. But like, I woke up to that idea. <laughs> Oh, that's, shit. That, that's barely counts as being creative. <laughs> hey, hey, no, I, I woke up to that idea. It counts. Don't be just can't get in a pool, right? <laughs> no pool, no sauna. No <laughs> but you'll just right. be afraid of water for a while. Oh hey, man, hey, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. But yeah, so uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. You can find all of our platforms at geekstudios.com. Uh, we are on the process of building a few other things out there um we're working on a few projects uh we're working on, on getting together uh, collaborating with more conventions and as well with uh other uh, other people like uh not just guerrilla publishing but like a few other people so we could bring more more guests to this pod uh but yeah um uh, that is it for us. Uh-huh. Let me say one more thing. Uh give me about six months, guys. Let me try to build the best deck I can. And you might see me in Yu-Gi-Oh! Six, what's it called? Oh, six months? Tournament. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Hey. I thought it was gonna be a lot faster than six months. <laughs> I, I, I gotta find I, I gotta find my personal <laughs> deck. I got my personal in a month, deck. Okay. Two months. Don't worry, dude. Look, At this point, we'll, I, I, we'll... I gotta find my personal deck. I have a personal deck. I gotta find it because we'll, I'm not we'll, just gonna we'll go buy to... booster cards, booster decks. Hey, hey we'll, 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 we'll talk. We'll talk to Tank. See if he, if he, um, okay's a, a few funds mo- getting moved around so we could buy you a, a a little deck. Just just because it would. I I'm not gonna lie. I really want to see that. It might I be really sooner than six see. months. All I gotta do is just find my decks, and we in it to win it, buddies. We in it to win it. Got it, bro. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, so make sure you you follow us everywhere. Again, everything's at geekstudios.com. Twitch information, everything's on there. Uh, we will post updates on uh, Dopey and his uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, and as well as... Let, let's get quest to, to become king of the games. Let's get to 5,000 and shave these three three guys right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right. All right. Adios and until next time. Until next Don't time. Game. <laughs> Don't let them brew back. <laughs>